Guys, welcome to our episode of the Hot Seat. Thanks for joining me. I got my buddy Jimmy Hensley. How you doing, Jimmy? Doing great, thanks. All right, so here's the deal. We always want to try to help people get better, and most people are not very good at what's some of the hot seat. First of all, the hot seat doesn't mean it's bad. Okay, but we need, we're trying to get people to get better, right? So, Jimmy, how long have you been working in life insurance with us? Um, since January, so one year. I did it before, didn't pan out. Uh, paper apps had a job, didn't okay, believe. Do me a favor. Okay, so this is part of Jimmy's problem. Takes him seventy five thousand words to answer one question. How long have you been working with us? January one year. One year. Boom, 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 boom. boom. Okay. Now, how do you think it's gone? Scale one to ten. One would be terrible. Ten has been great. Oh, it's been ten. Been in ten. Okay. It's been a ten for you. Okay. So here, here's how much team, how much your team volume a month. So we're we did. So I went from zero to like eighty seven in January. Okay. So it's good. Okay. So and it's like three of us that are right. So okay. it's good. And if I get a bigger team, it's going to be better. Okay. Can you stop talking to me? Yeah. Because it's going to help you with your business. Yeah. It's going to get people to be able to fall in line with what you're saying. You're super good dude. You're super smart. You're super good. You want to be. But you talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. Got it. And again, it's okay, except like on a scale one, I'm not, and by the way, you don't want to be in my down of business where you're like, it's terrible. You should be. There are people in, in, that joined us in January. In this past January, did a million dollars. Okay, now we're happy, and I understand it's not a lot of people. So why have you not been able to bring more people into the business? As short an answer as you can get. Um, I think the for Nevada, it's how long it takes the state to turn the license around. Okay, so we're you can license you can get any state you want to get, right? Okay, so when you're trying to work with people, it's all accountability. We have all fifty states literally where we can license. And I go, you have three agents that are writing business. Why don't you have more? You go, the state of Nevada slows me down. Dude, you know you're allowed to hire any state in the country. And I do hire in okay. all the states. I just don't know how to get the other people. They, they're all excited. They sign up. They just don't get through okay. the course. There you go. So now part of it, and, and this this one up, because you're, you're super good at sales. You're going to be one of the best producers we have this year. There's no doubt about it. And also, in fairness, you didn't start broke. Like, you're not, were you broke when you started? No. I'm no, sorry. that's my, like, you are broke. That's a good thing, by the way. So part of a lot of people, like when I got in the, in the business, I was broke. So you're like, why did you do so well? I was broke. Like I had no choice. <laughs> right, so right, 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 like, right. I'm not broke. Right. I've made some money. Like I'm doing pretty good. And now you start selling life insurance. You and I talked back in the day. Remember I came here and I was like, how much you sell a month? What were you selling a month? Eight. Eight. And I almost threw up my own mouth. What I say to you? You suck. You suck. But I love you. Yeah, but no. I, look, I didn't take it personal. No, I love you. And then why did you decide to start selling more? Because I know this is a great opportunity. Yeah. And why else? You don't need the money necessarily. Why else? Because you challenge me. Because I challenge you. Because you're a grown ass man. And when you're challenged, mm-hmm. you're like, okay, mother, and you challenge me. I'm going to now do 30. Correct. Okay? So now the thing is, and I like what you're saying, part of you when you communicate with people, though, has to be providing a sense of urgency quick. Because, like, I, you interviewed me in a podcast or, or for a train. You were unbelievable. Unbelievable. But that was an interview for a training, right? But you were still tighter in your selection of words. You had your questions, you asked them. When I talk, you shut up and you let me finish. So I'm not saying every part of your business not doing well or not doing what you want it to do. And you wanted to do it because you've been challenged. Like right. if, and that's also part of your deal. You can't challenge somebody that doesn't need to make more money based on making more money. <laughs> but you can challenge them on you can help more people. Because you want to help me, mm-hmm. right? That's why you're excited. By every time, and every time I see you with the guys, you're like, "He did this because you're excited for them." Mm-hmm. Okay. So now, help. Now, if you say to me, Sean, I'm having a hard time because they're excited, they're fired up, and they never move forward. My initial conversation with people, Jimmy. My how, first of all, if you were recruiting me. Be honest. I know you will. How long would you talk to me? I called you up, and I'm like, "Hey, dude, I saw I saw your ad, or I saw you on social media." I'm going to start. How long your conversation? It's, five, it's five and ten minutes. That's what I do. It okay. is. Mine was 90 seconds. Why? Literally. I'd be like, Jimmy, what do you want to know? So tell me, role play. So I go, you say, I saw you on social media. I go, great, Jimmy, what do you want to know? How do we make money? How do we get leads? Love it. We got more leads we know what to do with. We generate them digitally. We're on YouTube, social media, Instagram, everywhere you could possibly imagine. We get calling leads. We do stuff on Google. We got them everywhere. And the good news is, Jimmy, there's hundreds of millions of people in America, and most of them say they don't have enough for or any. 70% of them say that for life insurance. So we have hundreds of millions of people. We have more than enough leads. Time to make money. We call those people. 
We tell them that he left the church. They already said that he left the church. We got the phone. It takes about 30, 45 minutes. We get the policy over the phone. We get paid. On average, about a thousand bucks. That makes sense. Yep. Good. Here's the problem, Jimmy. Getting the insurance license is easy. And most people get the license or won't get the license, won't go do nothing. Are you a person that tends to do nothing or are you a person that tends to do something with your life? Well, I want to do something with my life, but I guess I was a person that did nothing at first until okay. someone challenged me. There you go. But I'm just saying, when you start talking to new people, it's like, boom, 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 boom. And you got to even want to, well, like 10 or 15 minutes, does it sound that long? Leave it's a your, secret. Yes. Yes. You're giving me everything. Every ingredient ever to the business I get in my first conversation. And guess what? If I want more information, you want more information? Get your damn license. You want more information about that? Sell a policy. Mm-hmm. You want more information about that? Hire an agent. Sell a policy. Does that make sense? Yeah, a lot. Of so me, I wasn't like if you were to if I were to say to people how great a guy is Jimmy, everybody says he's a great guy that I've talked to. Right. Thank you. And I mean that because you're just a really good dude. And also, when we were in the meeting, the reason I pushed, I was like, "That's a really good dude." Like, why don't I want that guy to do well? Now, Jimmy, in fairness, if I didn't like you, I left you doing eight. But a lot of people can't do that. They try equal with everybody. And that's what holds them down. 100%. He holds you down. And it is. I know. And it, and it was weird because I was, when we did the, when we had the lock in July 18th, never forget that day. Next month I did 37. Yeah. And then I did 22. And then you got to recruit. So I recruited and I, my sales went down because I didn't know how to balance my time. I was taking too much time. Then I took time. Imagine my 90 seconds to your 15 minutes. And then you got five guys. If Tom comes in, Tom wants some water. I'm like, Tom, you don't get no fucking water. You don't make no sales. Sit down and be dehydrated, Tom. Let's move on over here. I now I have time to make my sales. And when they're asking me questions, I'm making sales. I'm like, dude, are you serious? Why are you asking me that? You don't do anything. I get it. You have to start doing that. And it's, oh, dude, you're a great, great guy. That's And by the way, it's lonely to do it the right way. Because you get to know me. You're like, dude, Sean's a really good dude. But it's easy to say Sean doesn't care. Shit, I care way too much. Right. And I care too much to try to chase you when you're not doing anything. So, and guess what? Had you done anything next month, I wouldn't have said nothing. I wouldn't have been mean. I wouldn't have been like, what's wrong with you? I'd like, what's the way? But I'm thinking, how do I get a dude who's not broke, who's doing anything, who enjoys what he's doing, enjoys being around, mm-hmm. ain't mad about making some extra money? Uh-huh. How do I get him to be the right place? I had a guy recently say to me, when I joined, my wife went to me and she didn't like you. You were talking. You said about me. That's why he was because she said, This is great. She said, At my company, my CEO, he's very, very, very fine. He goes, The same CEO that hasn't given you a raise in five years. She goes, Yeah, that one. He goes, So the one where we don't make enough money to like the one that treats you. She's like, I get your point because I'm real. Mm-hmm. And, and you need to take these. And, and by the way, Leave him wanting more. Challenge him early on. Mm. You have such a good dude. You have so much currency with him already. There's no way to dispute that you care. And also, we tend to talk about how great, and I, and I get it, most of us want to do that. Like, hey, me, my team, he's doing this, he's doing that. And there's, you need to have some of that. Just so you know, no one out there is on my team. No, I'm I, helping I other I'm talking, people. Okay. I'm saying, okay. people in general. I'm, I'm just like, helping them. 100%. <laughs> yeah. but people in general. And it's like, at the end of the day, even if they're not on your team, right? Because they're not on my team. Me, people, that, that's why a lot of guys join me and start a company. That's why Frank and Femi join me. It's like, like, why are you joining me? I don't even know you. Like, I'm not on your team at this company. Why did you quit and join me? I didn't ask you to. Right. And he's like, because you were always very direct and constructively critical of me. I wasn't even on your team. So I try to always find, like, I'm not and picking on people's me. Don't bully anybody. But it's like, dude, why aren't you doing this? Or why aren't you doing this? So you're going to learn to condense your words, condense your message, leave them wanting more. And, and again, because here's the problem. The excuses that you'll give yourself, dude, you ain't starving. But a lot of people you work with. And, and, and if you start going like, well, in Nevada, we say that. And I've, I've worked on this a lot with everybody that works in this office. But I'm like, dude, I don't ever believe that. It doesn't matter what it is. I'm like, that if you, when, when we had one insurance carrier, I was like, we're good. People were like, well, you won't be able to do it. I have 15. I'm like, I don't need one. I convinced myself. I don't need one. We have no leads. I'm like, yeah, we do have leads. Like not really, they're 10 years old. We do have leads. You suck. No, you suck. Leads don't suck. So it's, it's, you got an unbelievable business. You're going to, you're going to get $2 million a month. You're going to help a ton of people. And you're being challenged. And you're going to stop talking so much. Got it. Make sense? Mm-hmm. And I love you. Hey, watch this guy. Uncle Jimmy, we affectionately call him. Great dude. Hot seat. 
talk. And by the way, if you don't have a relationship with people who don't know you care about them, you can't put them on a hot seat because they're like, dude, I don't even know you. Right. You have to establish some. They have to know you genuinely care or you get your third party validation. So like when other people in here, you're like, hey, dude, he's a pretty good dude. They've watched me talk and have a good sit. That makes sense? Yeah. Appreciate you, man. Thank you, dude. Thank you, man. Hey, you like this? Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for like, share, comment. If you like this video, watch the next hot seat. Watch our whiteboard talk and definitely download the podcast, Close and Conquer. Appreciate your support.